Hello YouTube, this is Brad Allen Hensley, once again, this time coming to you live from the beautiful living room in my house. <laughs> I always wanted to say something like that. <laughs> but seriously, you know, I was listening to Miss Lisa Haven earlier on Agenda 21. Now, I don't just take anything at face value here. I look into it. And I got to say, we'll simply put this. You win? Any of their friends, allies, or anything like that? You want to come and take my guns? Take my weapons? Try to tell kids that adults... Don't know nothing that humans or what's wrong with this planet? No. You are what's wrong with this planet. You don't like that? It hurts your feelings all oh, too fucking bad. The bottom line is this. Adults know more than kids. Why? Because we've been around longer. Which means, oh yeah, our brains are fully developed. We can think intelligently. We can look at things logically and make the correct decisions based on it. Well, most of us can. There are people who cannot do the Mental reasons, too many drugs, too much booze, or just being a plain old, good old-fashioned dumbass. But, uh, consumerism is not the problem with the world. Consumption ain't the problem with the world. The problem with the world is this. The corrupt assholes want more money and more power. They think they can step on the little guy, the poor, the middle class, to get it. And oh yeah, nothing will happen. Bull, I got news for you. I'm not something that will happen. I will take proper steps to ensure not only are all of my freedoms that are guaranteed to me under the Constitution of the United States safe, but the children know the truth and the true history of the world. The UN came about after the League of Nations failed. Why did it fail? Because no one could agree on stuff. Too much infighting. Well, I think the UN's on its course. It's time that the UN breaks up and we get together and form a new thing. Like, oh, I don't know. How about the World Peace Organization? Or Organization for World Peace. Okay. That would be just as good. But that would mean you would have to live up to the name. That would mean that everything you do would be for world peace. For the betterment of mankind. No more stockpiling millions and billions of gallons of oil to see the price go up. So you make extra money. No more hoarding diamonds and stuff and other jewels to make diamonds seem more precious. When we all know that diamonds are not the most precious stone on earth. Emeralds, rubies, rose garnets. These are more precious than diamonds. We all know this. Those of us in the know anyway. I uh, I know 
what the plan is. The plan is get the kids in charge, brainwashed, and then step in and take everything. Get the kids to hate their, to hate guns, and they turn in new guns. To hate and fear guns, and they'll turn them in and get rid of them. Then Russia, China, North Korea, Canada, Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, anyone could come right in and take over the U.S. of A. Or, under my watch, I will be damned if that happens. You will have to kill me before that happens. Because if I have to use a slingshot, uh, or a sling with a couple of rocks to fight, I will. With my dying breath, I will defend my country against any invaders, foreign or domestic. Uh, and in my book, Agenda 21, classifies as, in, as invasion paperwork, a declaration of invasion, a declaration of war, and treason. For those who are in this country who are for it. So, please, UN, rethink Article 21. And, please, recall all the books for children on it. Because you're not going to brainwash kids around me. I'm not going to let it happen. For one, and for two, if by some miracle you do get that to work, when you come to this country, you're just going to have other adults like me, vets and stuff, who will rise up and fight. And even if you do create a Red Dawn scenario, you will lose. Look at all the Red Dawn movies. Look at all the times when people have tried to mess with the U.S. on our turf. They've lost. England lost. And they're the ones who brought white guys here. Uh, Pakistan says it's not been conquered. In, I mean, Afghanistan says it hasn't had a foreign ruler where it successfully conquered them in over 3,000 years. Yes, that is true. But the U.S. is a lot more, more a lot more powerful and has a lot more people like me willing to do anything and everything to defend her. So please, please, think about that. And to all the uh, people out there in YouTube land, I simply put this. Look into Agenda 21. If you go on YouTube, you could type in uh, Lisa Haven, that's L-I-S-A-H-A-V-E-N. She has her own YouTube channel. Uh, the next news is good with uh, Gary uh, Francie or something like that. I'm not sure how you pronounce the last name, but it's also good. Okay? Um, and... I personally think everything that Donald Trump is doing for this country is a good thing. Bringing back jobs, which means more money, which means the U.S. dollar gets stronger. We stabilize our economy. We start exporting instead of importing everything. This country will make money and get out of our almost $20 trillion deficit that Obama has helped put us in. Just saying. Uh, as usual, if you like what I have to say and you agree and everything, hit the uh, little like button down there and uh, subscribe, hit the bell if you want notifications when I make a, uh, another video. And 
God bless the USA. And God bless everyone. And if you're Muslim and you like what I have to say, then salam alaikum. Malaikum salam. May Allah bless you and keep you. And have a glorious day. Thank you. And again, have a glorious night. Goodbye.